Hey everybody, this is Gabriel from Aegon Games coming back to you. It's been a long time. I've taken a, I guess, a bit of a break, you could say. Mainly because for the past like week or so, few weeks, past maybe more actually month, I like webcam was weird. Like my internal mic, which is the mic that I use for my sound. Didn't want to work, and I don't know what to do. And I couldn't get the fix, so but I guess since I was sick of it, I was like, enough is enough. And I was finagling with stuff and using my brain, trying to at least. And I just basically switched to guest user, and now I can use it. Yay! I'm happy. Happier. So, yeah. That'll be cool. So uh, when I make videos, I'll just go to guest. Problem solved. So yeah. And I guess I was just kind of like getting a bit deterred, you could say, because, um, you know, it's like barely anybody watches my videos, and that was kind of depressing. But you know something? I really shouldn't just make the videos, you know, to try to get, you know, big. Because it's like, you know something? Even if I have like, that, you know, a thousand views it's like that's not gonna really matter anything it's not gonna really matter really what it's gonna come down to is if i want to make the videos i mean yeah i'm just using my dell web webcam you know that's not you know high end you know compared to others you know i guess that you gotta you know if you if i don't have the good stuff then you know i'm not gonna get the good amount of views maybe you may well some people have some people are some people know know how to strike gold I guess you could say but yes so for my first you know my first review back you know back here um well I thought I would review Call the Call of Duty Mom Warfare 3 strategy guide yeah, I mean this thing's this thing's got some girth right right oh I'm gonna here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. How many pages is this? 350 pages of awesomeness. It really is. Like, it was like only 14 something dollars. Um, that's pretty cool. Like, it, I, at first I thought it was like 20. I'm like, okay, that's still not too bad. I mean, you're getting a lot of stuff. And, it, I mean, it's made by Braddy. Braddy Games signature series. I mean, I'm I'm kind of partial to um, the Perma Guide or whatever. But then again, I'm not like, oh my gosh, it's made by Braddy. I'm not good. No, I really don't care. I just thought it was cool because I was looking at it in Target one day and I was like looking at all the stuff like from multiplayer. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. I have all that stuff. You know, it was really cool. Like, there's so much stuff. Like, okay, you got the story, which you know. They actually do a very extensive job in this. That they don't just be like, okay, it's the story. We're not gonna put any effort. Like it's like you feel like with this with this guide, you feel like the story actually means something. Which to a lot of people who don't even haven't even touched the story, it's like the story isn't bad. There are some things I wish they had not done, like have Yuri as a main character in the respect of you playing as him. It's like you don't really introduce many. A lot of main characters in the third act. Usually, all your characters that you're gonna have in the story have been found in the second act. So it seemed kind of out of place to have a totally new character. I don't know. That's just me. That seems kind of weird, especially seeing how they were following a three arc act play types um genre. You know. So you know. I don't know. But that's a whole other story. That's not what I'm uh, talking about. The strategy. I mean, you got. Stuff on Spec Ops, stuff on the campaign, um, multiplayer. I mean, the main, it's mainly cut into single player and cooperative coverage and multiplayer coverage. But, like, there are so many things that I learned, like, in this strategy guide. Like, like right here, like, they have stuff on, like, the, um, whatchamacallit, like, the, just something called the recoil profile, which basically shows, like, like, like oh, that, that's, that's pointless. I'm, I'm not even try that. Like, it just basically shows like where the bullets are gonna kind of go, and it shows like its recenter speed, so like how fast 
it'll come back to the center, you know, of your shooting, and that's really cool to, like, you know, compare the different guns, and it has, like, the damage of each gun, and you compare it, it's, like, got a table, it's all nice, it has, like, the minimum damage, damage, round per minute, max damage range, like, where you are gonna do the most hurt to someone, like, like, here, we'll use one that everybody knows, um, here, the one that everyone knows, the AK-47, man, like, well, the ACR, actually, because it's the first weapon that they have listed for the assault rifles. And its minimum damage is, like, 30. Damage is 45. So I guess, like, that's, like, the general damage that it's going to do. Rounds per minute, 705. Max damage range is 1,000 feet or meters. I don't know. Are they going metric or English? 1,000 meters would be really far away. I don't even think any map is a mile. Like, because the minimum damage is... I'm thinking it's feet. We're gonna go with feet. It seems more realistic, you know. And, it's, and there's actually headshot multiplier. Like, I'm pretty sure. Like, is that multiplier on damage? I don't know. Some of these parts, some of the stuff in this guide is some kind of like confusing. They don't really give you like a key too much for the guide. Like, does a person's life equal 100? And does this damage like percent? Like, does the damage do 45 percent or like 45 points worth it out of 100? Because a grenade does, um, how much damage? It does, like, shoot, how much damage does it do? It does enough, like, a hundred, over a hundred. So I'm thinking, if a grenade kills you in a hit, you probably have a hundred. It would seem weird to have, like, a, you know, 105 life points. It would just seem weird. And, I don't know. But, like, for the most, I mean, I guess I'm just kind of using, you gotta just kind of infer and use, you know, you know assume perhaps you know just in relation to one another even if it doesn't it's just like 800 you know the damage is 42 in comparison to you know the mp5 that has a damage of 42 in comparison to the mp7 which has a damage of 35 you know that you know, means it has a seven higher damage so you can just kind of just it's just like a general might not even mean anything it's just a made up me measurement of unit like but you know there's other, this is like oh, all these other things. Now, I think they did them, they kind of messed up on some of the pictures. Like the UMP 45 has got the picture for a, the pistol, like the UPS point. The U, yeah, the UMP has a picture for like the UPS 45. Is that the pistol's name? I'm not gonna look it up, but like, yeah, I mean, it's just little, little typos, you know, you always have those in these things, but like, there's just so much to do. Like, they tell you how to like. They're not every gun, they don't tell you how to use every gun, you can kind of figure that out on your own, I guess, or if you get Call of Duty Elite, but that's a whole other story altogether. But, like, there's all these things that you can look at, like, the perks and how you could use, they kind of tell you how you could use them, and then they have the, uh, uh, the proficiencies, and, like, I didn't know that when you get the specialist, when you get 8 kills, not only do you get all the perks, Basically, you get like almost all the proficiencies, man. That just makes ads. That just adds to the beastness of that. Man, that is crazy. That is almost too much power for one man to handle. With in most events I've seen, lots of people. If you're not smart, you get killed. And that just, I mean, because you're not any, you're any, not any less vulnerable. I mean, you still get killed in a few shots and you're done. I mean, but you can lay the pain on so much more. Cause I mean, you just bah, 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 crazy. Yeah, I mean, there's just, and it has like all the challenges and how to get them. I mean, yeah, you can get that. You already know that, but it's just kind of helpful. It has all the maps, like the, all the pre, you know, standard maps, and it has like where you would spawn in each one, how to kind of play each one in a sense, like how it's gonna be played out, and just it's helpful to know like where you, you where each team is gonna spawn, so you can kind of be like, okay, that team's gonna spawn over there, and our team's spawning there, so maybe we, you know flank them, you know, on the left, because that's where the hot spots are going to be, but we can go up this point, because it's going to be a quieter spot and set up a defense, so when they do come, we'll hit them, you know, just kind of stuff like that, I mean, I know Call of Duty gets crazy, and it kind of, strategy kind of sometimes goes out the window, but there is still a sense of strategy, I mean, for those people who are really good, you know, there's other people who run around with the head, they're, you know, like, with a chicken, with its head cut off, but those people usually don't do go very far, you know. 
But anyways, yeah, and like, they have like weapons, like with loadout suggestions for each map, even though you don't have to. It's just one of those things that kind of like, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Try it out. Maybe you don't like it, and you can maybe tweak it a bit. They're just kind of like, this is the kind of feel that this map has, you know, it's that you know, type of thing. So yeah, I mean, it's definitely a good buy. I mean, you can get easily get overwhelmed. And I don't even own the game. My friend does. But I play, like, he owns the game, but I play it a lot on his Xbox, so it's like, and I he bought me a membership, so like, I basically, I basically do kind of play it in that sense, like, I kind of own it. I don't own it, but I play it enough to where, you know, I didn't just buy this because it's just cool, you know. I knew because I'm going to play because I go to college with him and me and my roommates, so we play, even though the college, you know, is kind of being stupid and they have the connections all messed up, but that's a whole other story. But anyways, I am just rambling continually, and I'm going to call that quits for now, so... Until next time, this is Gabriel from Agon Games, signing off.